Hello everyone. This video is brought to you by Newton's group of institutions. This is Arvind Egreti from Department of CSE. In this video, I'll be talking about the unique nature of web apps. In the early days of the World Wide Web, website consisted of little more than a set of linked hypertext files that presented information using text and limited graphics. Whereas today, web apps have evolved into a sophisticated computing tools that not only provide standalone functions to the end users, but also have been integrated with corporate database and business applications due to the development of HTML, Java, XML, etc. So there is a little debate that web-based systems and applications are different from many other categories of the computer software. Here Powell summarized the primary differences saying that web-based systems involve a mixture between the print publishing and software development, between marketing and computing, between internal communication and external relations, and between art and technology. So here, the following attributes are encountered in the vast majority of web apps. Network intensiveness, concurrency, unpredictable load, performance, availability, data-driven, content sensitive, continuous evolution, immediacy, security, and aesthetic. So here, coming to network intensiveness, by its nature, a web app is a network intensive. It resides on a network and must service the needs of the internet, thereby enabling an open worldwide communication. So, alternatively, an application may be placed on an internet, implementing communication across the organization or through an ethernet, that is, internetwork communication. Whereas coming to the concurrency, a large number of users may access the web apps at one time. So in many cases, the patterns of the usage among these end users will vary greatly. Whereas coming to the third point, that is unpredictable load, the number of users of the web apps may vary by order of magnitude from day to day. Some days there will be more load and in some days there will be high load. So 100 users may show up on Monday and 10,000 users may use the system on Thursday. Coming to the fourth point that is performance. Here the performance is an indication of the responsiveness of the system to execute specific action in a given time interval. So it can be measured in terms of latency and throughput. Here latency means it is the time taken to respond to any event and throughput is the number of events that take place in a given amount of time. So if the web app users must wait too long, then he or she may decide to go elsewhere. They will be going for other apps. So always your apps should be available. So the fifth point is that availability. Here, availability and reliability are concerned with keeping the relevant services that provide service to your web application available at all time. So although expecting, expectation of 100% availability is an unreasonable, the users of popular web apps often demand access on a 24 bar, 7 bar, 365 basis. Coming to the data driven, see this data driven is nothing but content, content in your web apps. In many cases, the primary function of the web app is to use the hypermedia to present text, graphics, audio and video content to the end user. So, Data-driven apps have become a major growth engine for the worldwide software market. Here, the analysts predicted that smart computing softwares will become a dollar thousand billion market 
and have proclaimed that we are in the era of data driven marketing and sales so in addition web apps are commonly used to access information that exist on the database that are not an integral part of the web based environment for example your e commerce or financial applications now today whatever we are uh, transactions we are doing all these transactions are based on your paytm google pay app or amazon flipkart so the e commerce and all the transactions we are based on the web based applications so now here coming to the content sensitiveness these web apps run on the internet so an internet or extranet to meet the needs of the diverse group of users so a large number of users may access the web app at one time and so there may arise a need for concurrency future so in order to protect the sensitive content and provide sequence modes of transmission sir strong security measures must be implemented throughout the infrastructure so that that supports the web apps and also within the application itself so the important factors that should be considered in the quality of web application is aesthetic nature of content so appropriate navigation is also important in case of web applications coming to the continuous evolution here unlike conventional applications softwares that evolve over a series of planned chronologically spaced releases web applications evolve continuously so it is not unusual for some web apps to be updated on a hourly schedule so engineering is about adopting a consistent and scientific approach tempered by a specific practical context to develop and bringing into working condition of system or an application so continual care and feeding allows the websites to grow so that these web apps can serve to us or adapt to the needs so here the following web app characteristics drive the process one is immediacy security and aesthetics so coming to immediacy immediacy is a web based applications that have an immediacy that is not found in any other type of software applications that is the time to market for a complete website can be a matter of a few days or weeks so developers must use methods for planning analysis designing implementation and testing that have been adapted to the compressed time schedule required for the web app development coming to the security because web apps are available via network access it is difficult if not impossible to limit the population of end users who may access these applications so in order to protect sensitive content and provide secure mode of data transmission strong security measures must be implemented throughout the infrastructure that supports the web app and within the application itself coming to aesthetics an undeniable part of the appeal of web app is its look and feel when an application has been designed to market or sell product ideas aesthetics may have a much to do so with success as a technical design so every person who has suffered the web or used a corporate internet has an opinion about what makes a good web app so individual view points vary widely some users enjoy flashy graphics others want simple text some demand copious information and others desire an abbreviated presentations so in fact 
the user's perception of goodness might be more important than any technical discussion of the web quality but how is web app quality preserved this is the main question so what attributes must be exhibited to achieve the goodness in the eyes of end users and at the same time exhibit the technical characteristics of quality that will enable a web engineer to correct adapt enhance and support the applications over a long terms thank you all if you like this video please subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon for the latest notifications